the, the answer to Sun Tzu is soul training. That means you have to have your soul already there, the ego pretty much out of the way. Unraveling your past to get into the present is the way, the, the workbook actually, to get to the training of the soul in the answer to Sun Tzu. The uh, unraveling your past to get into the present is a step-by-step -step explanation uh, that talks to the soul to explain what happened to you. How did you get into this situation? Uh, how, uh, why? Why aren't you happy? Uh, what's happened to you? Who abused you? Who abused you verbally or physically? And it wasn't the soul. It was the ego. Now, should you blame the person, the mother, the father, the sister, the brother, the uncle, whomever it was? Should you blame that person? Yes, because the soul did not take charge. But it wasn't the soul. It was the ego. And the ego took over the life of the person who was the abuser. And that's the, that's the truth. The emotional trauma that has been experienced by the soul, you the reader, is now the problem. So in order to get over that problem and be you, the soul, free, you need to then understand what has really happened to you. And that's what the answer, the unraveling your past to get into the present is. It's a step-by-step -step unraveling of that particular phenomena, which is the ego, so that the soul can wake up and the soul can look at the situation, look at the past and look at the present and make decisions of what the soul wants to do in order to be on the path of happiness, which is, which is really what your life is. Your life is on a, a path of happiness. Once you're on that path of happiness, then you can do your talent, whatever your talent is, and you can be whatever it is that you are destined to be because you will not have any imposition of some ego, personality, that would then try to steal your, your light, steal your day, steal your life. Because truly, people's lives have been stolen right from underneath them by the ego. And they pass on as the ego, not as the soul, never having lived their life as the soul. And this is the important thing about why I wrote this book, to help people to not only be peaceful and happy and make a better world, but also to give them the opportunity to fulfill their destinies. And that, I think, is one of the most important things that we can do as we live our lives.